Hallelujah, good afternoon, and welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Easter Tuesday, April 23rd. The scripture for this service, Psalm 111, and John 14, verse 15 to 31. Join me now in singing the second verse of O Sons and Daughters. Alleluia, 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 that Easter born at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Alleluia! I praise you with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright. Alleluia! Psalm 111. Please recite it with me. Alleluia! I praise you with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. Your works are great, sought by all that delight in them. Your work is honorable and glorious, and your righteousness endures forever. You have made your wonderful works to be remembered. You are gracious and full of compassion. You have given food to them that fear you. You will always remember your covenant. You have shown us the power of your works, that you may give us the heritage of the heathen. The works of your hands are truth and judgment. All your commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. You sent redemption to your people. You have commanded your covenant forever. Holy and revered is your name. To fear you is the beginning of wisdom, and they that do your commandments understand. Your praises endure forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I praise you with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 14, beginning at verse 15. The promise of the Holy Spirit. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, said Jesus. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides in you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my place, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, 
and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise and let us be on our way. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that we, who have been raised with him, may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.